me, lovelies. I am Wiji Diantara, and thank you for joining me on a bright, beautiful, sunny afternoon. Today I'm going to do a long haul video that is a few weeks coming due to the fact that you know, I had to work a couple extra days before my husband and I took a vacation to Paris, France. So now we're back and I have assimilated back into the American culture and adjusted to the time difference. So now I can actually sit down and go through my items that I bought before and during my vacation. So let's get started. Um, before I went on vacation, I happened to stop off at Michael's to check out their Halloween decorations. And yes, Michael's is a little expensive and I think I spent more money than I wanted to, but at the moment I felt that I could allow myself to be a little less thrifty and a little more just buying what I felt like. So um, I bought this cute jar. Uh, full Moon Reserve 100% Supernatural. Um, it's very cute Halloween decor with a little cork. Um, I'll probably use it for some sort of potion, probably a moon water or moon oil. Um, the tag says $7.99, so it could have been the price I paid for. Honestly, I don't remember. But it was cute. I thought, yeah, good for moon water, moon oil. Um, last year I happened to bought a black one of these, and this year my husband convinced me to buy two more. A uh, purple skull bottle, clear with a cork. You can use for like potions or ooh, oils or whatever. So I bought a purple one and the clear one. Oop, wrong way. There we go. They're very cute. Last year I bought a black one, so I've almost completed the full set. Um, I, once again, I don't know the prices of these because I didn't save the receipts. Also from Michaels, I found this really cute uh, jar. Mr. Bones Magical Ingredients. And on top has this cute little skull. And the lid just pops right off. I thought it would be cute for herbs or mostly herbs. I don't know, maybe some bones we'll put in there later or something like that. Um, this was a little expensive. The price is $14.99. But I thought it was too cute, you know. Maybe put some bones in it or something. I also bought this black beeswax candle. Uh, the price says $9.99, which I think is a little overpriced, but it is Michael's, so I'm not surprised. Um, I, I took it out of the package, but I bought this little cute little witch figurine right in on a broom. Um, they go to the Halloween house decorations, but I thought it would be cute just as a little decorations for my show for, you know, just because it's a witch. Um... <laughs> I bought a little set of vials for oils and stuff. Even though I have um, little vials that I use to sell my oils on Etsy, I just bought these for, you know, just because they're different prices. Um, this one doesn't have a price tag on it, but I think it was like $7. Don't quote me on that. And last but not least, for Michael, I bought. Here's part of it. Good, good witch or bad witch. Depends on my mood. It's cute little metal sign. And the price is $16.99 for this. I thought it was cute. it that I bought for Michael so I probably spent like 27 maybe 30 bucks on just those few items moving on um I went to Target my husband and I stopped off there to pick up some odds and ends before our trip so I bought uh, a few bottles because they were on sale in the dollar section um these are just a couple of corked jars that were a dollar that one this one and 
this one that are clear, all with corks. And then I bought two black little glass jars that were a dollar two from Target. Um, I found this little jar for a dollar too. Um, another cork jar that was a dollar. These were also a dollar. Um, I thought they were really cute. I got one of each color. You can use them for like potions and oils or I haven't decided yet. Cute little jars. And last but not least, I bought this beautiful blue um, bottle with a little cork on it that comes off. Um, I figured I'd use this for a witch bottle or some sort of protection bottle in the house, maybe for health um, because it is blue or just for protection because blue is makes me happy. Anywho, so oh, also from Target, I found these tea lights. They're actually bigger than a normal size tea light. Let me see if I have a comparison. So this is a normal size tea light, and this is uh, oversized. Is what it's called an oversized tea light. So I found two whites and a black from Target. These say they were six dollars. And that was my haul from Target. Um, also before I left, my husband and I went to our favorite furniture store called Z Gallery. We drool all over a lot of the furniture and the items that they have for household. But so every now and then for the holidays they have um, several little items to decorate the house with. And so, I happen to find these cute skeleton paper candles. They were a little overpriced, the $7.95, but they were just too cute. I have to have them for Halloween or I might, you know, just use them as decoration on my frame. So those are some things in gallery. I also happen to order a few um candles from of my favorite scent off the internet. Um, these are votives from Seta France. The scent is called Royal Incense. If you ever happen to have a chance to smell the scent, I hope that you fall in love with it as much as I do. It's very refined. Reminds me of the Orient. It's just a magical beautiful scent and every time I have the money I try to buy a few of these. They're not very cheap actually. They're pretty expensive. This Votive probably was about ten dollars um, and then they have bigger size candles um, that are more expensive. But I happened to buy three of these and um, so when I got home I found the box, you know, box by the mailman left at the door with three of my candles. I was so happy. And then just that day too, the um, postman brought me another box with three more. So somehow there was a mix up at the warehouse and they sent me six candles for the price of three. So my goddess blessed me that day with my favorite scent. Um, of course, um, always I have to visit with my family in Barnes and Noble because we were like book hounds here and we like to find a lot of um, spiritual books or you know my mother-in-law likes to look for angel books or something like that to research and read on so i happen to find um the witch's almanac for 2016-2017 and this one relates to air the breath of life I haven't had a chance to open it or read it yet, but I kind of glanced through the pages and it has a lot of beautiful pictures and lore. And of course it has, you know, the monthly calendar, the moon phases and stuff like that. So I bought that from Barnes and Noble. It says it was $12.95. And then I finally picked up a deck of um, tarot cards that I've been looking at for a long while. They're also on my Amazon wish list, but you know, they were a little more expensive on um, Barnes & Noble, but I had to decide to get it. 
So it is called Shadowscapes um, by Pumunla. Please, if I butcher your name, I am so, so sorry. Um, I've already opened it, sorry guys, um, and put it in its own tarot bag. So I'll just show you real quick. I haven't worked with it. I just played with it a little and put my energy on. So there is oops, the back of the deck. And I'll just show you one or two cards. So, I'm going to show you one more. Four. So once I work with it, I'll do a tarot review on the Shadowscapes deck. For now, I'm just showing you what I'm at. Cute little tarot bag with um, all the um, astrology. No, the... Uh, no, not astrology. Some of them are astrology, star signs, some of them are just constellations from the universe. And I happen to have gotten this bag on Etsy. Okay. And last but not least, once we went to France, you know, my husband kept us on a tight schedule. We'd seen a lot of sites and a lot of beautiful architecture, um, cathedrals, uh, monuments. We, we did so much in the seven days that we were there. And my husband did make time to go through some of the metaphysical shops that we could find there. And unfortunately, it's a pretty Catholic dominated country. And so their metaphysical shops are mostly bookstores that cater to spirituality and um, supernatural. Um, themes and uh, and stuff like that very hardly any metaphysical items some of them had incense and candles none of them had really any oil some of them had stones um so we i really didn't get to find what i was looking for per se but we did stop at a um a stone store it was called um oh, don't quote me on it anyway once I find the name, I'll, I'll let you guys know. So we stopped off at this um, stone shop, um, and I happened to, you know, look around and bought a few things. That oh my god, let me tell you, the prices were just phenomenal. I wish we had more um, stores that sold gemstones and, and and rocks and and geodes and stuff like that at a good price here. And I don't have to try trips all over the country to find it in another, you know, in Paris. But anyway, so I happened to pick up a few things from there that were relatively the cheapest I've ever found them. So of course I had to get them. Um, so I bought this quartz crystal, very beautiful, nice size. This was twelve dollars. Yes. I bought this absolutely I saw this I don't even know what stone it is yet I probably will do some research and figure out what stone it is I just bought it for what it was carved at this I don't know if you guys can see it it is a little oops, little frog stone it's just so cute I happen to love frogs and so finding this little stone carved into a frog was just amazing and I believe this was like three bucks um, this pendant was am aminoid uh, again once again please forgive my pronunciation this was I believe 12 bucks um, my husband found a blues tiger eye as a pendant that he wanted. The, it's hard to focus, but um, I'll put this on a leather cord so he can wear it. Um, what else? Um, I found a really small polished opal very small but it's pretty as a polished opal it was really nice it was 20 bucks it's hard to see the the rainbows on the camera but it was just beautiful it's very small i would have liked a bigger polished piece but they didn't have very many polished pieces they had a lot of rough pieces that were nice but they wanted a polished piece so that was 20 bucks um i and then the thing that I just absolutely was flabbergasted by 
um, that is hard here to find in the States at a good, relatively cheap price is my f my power stone. The stone that just makes me happy, infuses me with energy. It just, it's just like, makes me love it. I don't know what it is about it, but it just is. So anyway, so it is fire agate. The pieces are really nice. I found that one. that piece both of these were 20 bucks and then i found one that was 28 dollars as a pendant so i already put it on a chain Oops. and started wearing it after of course i cleansed them all my stones have already been cleansed you can't really see the rainbow on this one so i was just absolutely in love with the price of those um, fire agates because here in the states every time I've looked for a fire agate none of the pieces have been cheaper than a hundred bucks and they're usually relatively like, teeny pieces you know so just to be able to find you know this size of fire agate with such a beautiful you know rainbows in it at a price of 20 bucks was a, the biggest deal ever so of course I bought a couple of pieces um, yeah, so that's, oh, and then I bought this Lapis Lazuli bracelet. Um, this I bought as a um, offering for my goddess, Bassette. She loves Lapis Lazuli. So that was her gift um, that I brought her back from Paris. Um, last but not least, my husband and I, well, no, there's two more things. Um, or well, a couple more things. So my husband and I happen to go to a lot of cathedrals, and you can't go to a, a, a you know Paris, France without going to Notre Dame. So we went in there and we lit a candle for the family and prosperity and love and everything good. And I happen to have gotten some uh, wax drippings from the candles in Notre Dame, and. I can't convey how much power, how much love and devotion and and yearning is is in this wax from all those people who who ask you know who just offer so much devotion to their god or goddess or whoever it is that they light the candle for. You can feel the magic, the power palpating and, and infused in this wax. So I just got a little bit. I didn't want to be greedy and take a whole bunch. I didn't want to take away from, you know, what the candles represented inside Notre Dame. But I did pick up a few little, you know, little pieces so that I can make um, one gigantic uh, family candle with the magic that's infused in this wax. You know, a little wax goes a long way. So I'm very happy with that. Um, also, we were traipsing through the wild country um, um, in Dinar, um, a little town on the seaside, and I found some wild thistle. They're just, it's just a magic, magical plant. So I grabbed a couple of pieces and I'm gonna dry them out and, and use them. For what I don't know yet, but I knew I just had to have some wild thistle because where I live, there's no wild thistle growing. All right, so while also while I was in France, um, my husband and I, our first stop on our vacation tour was the catacombs. My totally wonderful idea because I wanted to visit the the most. One of the beautifulest places I've seen, one of the mo many beautiful places that I've seen online, you know, um, if you don't know the story of the Paris Catacombs, you should look it up and research and read about it, because it's just, I, I don't know how to, to express how much emotion was down there. When we entered the catacombs, I was just overwhelmed with sadness and and I wanted to cry. It's just the motion down there is one of sadness and, and and desperation. So you know, we took the tour, and as always, there was always at the end. There's always like a gift shop. So in the gift shop, um, I bought a little 
skull candle, a skull with a rose, and it's a tea light holder. So I bought that. I thought it was really cute. I happen to be a fanatic, borderline fanatic of skulls. So of course this was really, really cute. And then I just bought um, a clear one, a clear skull tea light holder. Um, I have two bigger clear skulls, um, but they're not tea light holders, let me show you. Um, these are actually like Volta holders, but I bought them from a um, long time ago. My husband bought me one and then we went and bought another one. These are Volta holders from Z Gallery, the furniture store I told you that I bought the two um, skeleton tapers. So I had two of these I bought a long time ago. So when I saw the clear um, tape, the f clear tea light holder, I had to buy one. Um, so also on Seaside, while we were in Deauville, um, the family and I walked along the beach and I grabbed you know, a couple of seashells that were Right on the beach, and I found a beautiful. I haven't cleaned it up yet, so it still has beach sand in it, but uh, a hagstone on the beach. Okay. Also, my husband and I visit a cathedral um, in Chart, I believe, or uh, yeah, Chart, and um, one of the shops in the cute little town. Um, I had to get them. I saw them as we passed by and I've been wanting them forever. They were a little expensive here and I saw them there and I had to get them. So the first one is a gargoyle taper candle holder. So he is just absolutely wonderful. He just, that was, he was the first thing that drew my attention. He waved his hands. He's like, hi, hi, buy me. So of course I had to buy him. And his companion, oh, uh, he was, I believe, uh, $14.99 or $16.99. And then I had to buy his companion, who was $34, but he was well worth it. And look at him, my little guardian statue. And not he just absolutely wonderful? I protect my room with Jack. So I bought those, and I have these in the same store. I bought St. Miguel and St. Sticks for a dollar. I haven't burnt them yet. Uh, mostly, I think I've told you guys before, my, my family are more um, on the angel spiritual side, so I, I bought a lot of angel incense to burn around the house for them. Um, the last two things I have from France, um, me being an avid tea, tea drinker, doesn't matter if it's summer, winter, fall, spring, I'm um, gonna drink tea whenever possible. Um, my family took me to a very fine tea store, it's called Mirage. So I bought me two different, oops, sorry, two different teas. Um, the first one is the Ah Sahara, which has green tea, mint, and rose petals. And then the other one's just a, a green tea and jasmine. Um, I tried them both, and they're both absolutely delicious. And that was my haul from France. And last but not least, because this video has gotten way too long, I bought some fabric from Joanne's Fabric. Uh, I bought myself a sewing machine instead of borrowing my grandma's. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I make my own altar cloth. So I bought some more fabric to make more altar cloths and to, <clears throat> um, you know, make tarot cloths for my Etsy shop, which I'll put the link in the down bar. So um, I already have an altar cloth well, no, that is my altar cloth. I must have cleaned it. Um, so, yeah. So, I already have an altar cloth and this material, but I thought I would make myself a tarot cloth with it. I know, make a tarot cloth to sell on Etsy. 
It's very, um, you got the planets, the celestial bodies, stars, nebulas, galaxies. I absolutely love it. So I bought me a yard of that. Um, I bought a yard of this Halloween fabric because I absolutely love the colors of the blues and the oranges and the greens to make tarot cloth for. Um, I bought just a black, oh, let me see, sorry, let's turn inside out. Um, this is just a black glitter fabric that I, would, I don't know if you can tell the smoke the inside's in the way. But it's a black glitter fabric I'll use on the back of the celestial, um, <laughs> the celestial fabric. And then I have just a, a, another blue fabric to put on the back of the pumpkin fabric. Um, let's see, what else did I buy? I bought, I, ha I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but since I love Nightmare Before Christmas, I had to buy a piece of the fabric, Nightmare Before Christmas fabric, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but, you know, when you see something you like and you have to get it, you gotta get it. Um, and then, for, I'm supposed to make use the this fabric to make two pillows for Halloween to put on my bed um, it's just uh, some black cats with uh, different color eyes and little golden spiders I need to crack it on it because it is now October already and then my husband picked out this fabric for me to make a couple of pillows for our bed for Christmas it's trees and snowy houses and glitter and that's it on the fabric that I that I got. Not much else. Um, and that's it. And that is my haul. Sorry it's taken so long, but I had a lot accumulated before and after I went on vacation. So thank you for oops, excuse me for the incense smoke. Thank you for taking the time to watch this haul video and thank you for Tune in into my YouTube channel. I'll keep the videos coming. I am uh, in the um, I'm in the process of uh, doing a few requests that you guys had of uh, a book tour. Um, my tarot deck videos are already put out. Um, I need to still do the oracle, and I wanted to do uh, maybe another spell video for you guys and. Um, I wanted to do a video on my travel altar box that I think everybody, all witches, should have one travel altar in case they go out and, and do rituals or spell working outside. Um, um, so I'll do a video on that too. But anyway, I'm tired of taking up all your time. So thank you once again for watching my YouTube video and please stay tuned for more wonderful videos. Merry Met and Blessed Be everybody.